Hello everyone, this is Kenny Brony from Cambridge Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, we are learning Python and this is specifically SNG207, Programming for Engineers, a course taught at the University of Ghana. So if you have been following along, we have this particular structure we have been following and starting from the very first over here, we have been going through this in a very systemic manner and this structure has been put together like the chapters of a book. So currently we are on chapter 17 where we are discussing Python functions and Python functions have been broken down into about three or four videos and this is going to be the last video. Basically this is just going to wrap everything up as to some of the things we have learned. So we know that in order to declare a function we use the dev keyword and we have this function name over here. We bring in a parenthesis. Now this parenthesis can take in parameters, but then for now, we would want to have something like a statement. And the statement will read, and I'm gonna have a formatted string over here, and I'm going to say, my name is Kenneth Brony. So I would want to finally return statements over here this way. So everything is looking good and now if i'm to come in here and print my function and call it up this way this we already know we have seen other examples in the other videos so if i'm to run this we do get my name is kenny Bruni. now i said we can make this a little bit dynamic by passing in a parameter over here and we can then use a placeholder remember we're already using a formatted string over here so i can use this placeholder curly bracket and pass in the parameter over here now because we are using a parameter if i run this we are going to catch an error and the error says my function missing one required positional argument so we need to pass in an argument over here in which case i can say requirement in chroma So when I do this and save and I'll run this, we do get my name is Kwame Nkrumah. The argument we pass in here, whichever value, will now be sent into the name as a parameter and it is going to be replaced over here. This we have discussed extensively. Now, there's something we can do over here and that's we set in default parameters. So we can do name is equal to inside of where we are declaring our function. And let's say we'll say Ken. So now see what's going to happen. When I run this, I do get my name is Kwame Nkrumah over here because I've provided an argument over here. But now if I don't provide an argument and run this, the code doesn't break. The default parameter will set in. So currently you can see that my name is Ken. But then if I bring in a parameter, or oh, sorry, an argument, then the default is overwritten and now we have this. So this is just something I wanted to show. Now the next thing I would want to show is, I think in the very first video when we were discussing, I mean the very fundamentals, and I'll open this up. We were talking about comments and rewriting our first Python code and all that. And we said in order to comment, we use this hash symbol over here and everything over here is now a comment and basically comments are notes for the reader and not the compiler or the interpreter in this case now i also mentioned that we have this single triple quotes or double triple quotes we can use for commenting and i'm reading from line nine over here i said however this has a more useful purpose we'll discuss later and that's exactly what we are going to discuss now we already know that and let me close this we already know that for instance this print when i hover around this it tells me that there's a function and you could see that um, i get a little bit of lookup over here it tells me what the function does and a lot of information over here good now this is also a function my function but then when i hover around this or when i hover around this this way it doesn't give me a lot of information and that's where we can use the single triple quote or the double triple quote to write some comments over here. So I'll do 
single triple quote this way and this is a multi-line comment so i can write this function and let me see returns the name passed in as an argument so i'll save this and now see when i hover around this i get this lookup over here just as we're getting over here okay now it is not in as much as this is a comment okay if i'm to use the old or this single line comment and i say this is a good function and save this if i hover around this i don't get this is a good function over here simply because it is not presented in a way that it should be displaying over here so i'm just going to leave this and also come in here i'm just going to take away this and just show you if i'm to do this so this also a single line comment let me clear this off over here this is a single line comment now if i'm to hover around this i don't get that lookup over here so in as much as both of them are doing the same thing it is commenting that line we have over there but when i use the single line comments or the usual comments as we have over here when i hover around this it doesn't show up as the lookup or the help that we want but then if i'm to use for instance let's say these are triple quotes i have over here and let me end them over here so these are triple comments let me collapse this so that we have a wider slate now when i hover my mouse around this we have this showing up as a lookup or some help over here so basically if you are writing um, some of these functions you need to put some of these systems in place in order to make your code readable or to explain some of the things you have inside of your code now there's something i would want to do so you are seeing that this function returns the name passing as an argument and i can do something like default is ken because indeed the default over here is ken so now when i save this and if i'm to come and hover around this we see this function returns the name passing as an argument and i'm saying default is ken so it is joined up on the same line it doesn't really matter but then if we want to break this line we know what to do we just have to use a slash and over here this way and this is going to break this into a new line so now when i hover around this we do get this function returns the name passing as an argument and because we are using the slash n over here we have default scan showing up on a new line so these are the two fundamental things i wanted to show especially with functions and this is going to be the end of this video now you find the content i'm putting out here very useful kindly support my work by subscribing to the camera tech channel also don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified share this video with friends and family who will find this content very useful at camera tech we say learn programming you can do it bye bye and catch you in the next video